This video is sponsored by G Portal. Learn more about their premium game servers for PC and console players later in the video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ. Welcome back to the channel. The Guval Pack for Farming Simulator 22 has finally been released for all platforms. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about how to get the DLC right now, no matter what platform you play on, what's included with the DLC, and how each piece of equipment works in the game. So let's jump right in. First, let's go over how to get this DLC. It is available for all platforms, meaning PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and Series X and S, PC and and Mac, including Steam and Epic Game Store versions. The Gervel Pack will cost $9.99 by itself, and it is also included with the Year 2 Season Pass if you guys own that. Console players will want to go to the Microsoft Store or the PlayStation Store. Even if you have the Season Pass, you're going to need to do this step. You can do this very easily by just jumping into the game and going down to the Microsoft Store or PlayStation Store, and it'll take you to the official page. Scroll down until you see add-ons for this game, and scroll over until you fine Gerval. If you have the year two season pass again, you just need to click download. But if you don't have the season pass, you will need to purchase it. It may also say pre-order depending on if your platform has actually received the update yet or not. And once you've got it or downloaded the DLC, it'll show up in your DLC section of the game. If you play on PC, there are a few other ways that you get your hands on the DLC. First is through the official farming simulator website, which I recommend. Simply go to farming-simulator.com, link below, and click on DLC see at the top. Once you've done that, scroll down and you'll find Gervel Pack right here. If it still says pre-order for you guys like it does for me when I'm making this video, you could still purchase it and receive your code. Simply select how you want to pay, click pre-order, and then go through all the steps. Once you've got all your information entered, make sure you enter partner code DJGOHAM. This does help support the channel and no additional cost to you. Once you've done all that, click your boxes, click continue, and you will receive an email with your code and and how to download it. And for those of you using Steam or Epic Games to play Farm Sim 22, you can basically do the same thing that console players do, but I would highly recommend loading up Steam or Epic Games, go into the store page, click on DLCs, and then you'll scroll down and find Grova. Once you've got it, simply add to cart, buy it, and then it will download automatically for you. Now that you've got the DLC, let's take a look at all of the pieces of equipment included with it. You're gonna find nine pieces in total. Simply go to your store, Go to Mods and DLCs and click over to Gearval DLC. Here you'll find the Bail Handler RBG, the Bail Handler BTGQU, the G1015 Bell Wrapper, the G5 or 5020 Wrapper, the G4010Q Profi Wrapper, the G1F125 Round Baler, the G1F125 Combi Round Baler and Wrapper, the LT Master F115 Stationary Baler, and the Vario master v140 stationary baler taking a look at customization options for each piece of equipment the first is that bail handler rbg this will handle round bales and it will do 125 or 150 centimeter round bales attachment type you can either go with a front loader or a telehandler setup back and forth between those two secondly is the bail handler btgqu this will handle 180 centimeter square bales and is mainly meant for wrapped square Square bells. This one's interesting because we also have a three point hitch on here. So you have three point and front loader combined together, or you could go with telehandler if you'd like. Next, we have the G1015 Bell Wrapper. This is the one piece of equipment from this DLC that I'm the most excited about. This will wrap 125 and 150 centimeter round bells. And one of the interesting things is this hooks up just like a bell grab. So three point and front lifter, or you could do telehandler as well very cool there support roller you can add that to the back this makes it a little bit easier when you guys are in the field and i'll explain why you want to go with that front roller support later on and we can also choose foil color on here as well five different colors next is the g5020 this is pretty standard when it comes to bell wrapping and it works exactly like some of the other stuff that we've got in the game this will wrap 125 and 150 centimeter round bells and one of the cool things about this is it includes a bell on end turner so instead of the round bell just dropping out the back as it would without it with this piece right here it's actually going to drop it on its end so it's not going to roll away very cool and totally worth it on here 
Wheel Brands, we do have some customization options. We have Trelleborg, and we also have Vrennestein as well in Trelleborg. We have a standard and a wide tire. A Vrennestein is just wide tires. We also have those five wrapper colors as well with this. Next is a really, really cool piece of equipment. This is the G4010Q Pro 5 Bell Wrapper. However, this is a completely standalone piece of equipment. You do not need a tractor or anything to pull this. Well, well to pull it with, of course, but to operate it, it has its own engine built into it, so it will just do it for you. This is great for guys that maybe want to run some, maybe a little bit more realistic stuff, stuff like that, um, but you just operate this from the outside. It's super cool. Uh, this will do 125 or 150 centimeter round bells. It will also do 180 centimeter square bells, so the smallest square bell there. And we have our five, five foil colors there too. This is a super cool piece of equipment. Next, we have another one that you guys will probably be familiar with, the G1 F125 round baler this requires 120 horsepower to run it will do 10 mile per hour max working speed and it will make 125 centimeter round bales you can change up the wheels on here from trelleborg we also have bkt fredestan and back in trelleborg gives us a standard and wide tire bkt a standard and wide tire and fredestan wide or wider look at those chonky boys right there very cool setup for this round baler next up we have the g1 f125 combi this is basically that round baler that we just showed off but with a bell wrapper on the back and one of the great things about this it also has that bell on end turner again you will definitely want to be using that it is going to come in handy as far as specs for the machine itself it does require 160 horsepower to run 10 mile per hour max working speed and it will make 125 centimeter round bells and it will also wrap 125 centimeter round bells if that was any <laughs> any guess or question we do have a silage additive tank on this which is very very important for making better quality silage and then of course we have our five foil colors and lastly we have two pieces of equipment that are kind of the same but i will explain the differences and it's really only one small thing first is the lt master f115 stationary baler this adds the functionality to bail up three new types of bells we have cut sugar beets tmr that's right we have tmr and we also have chaff this is a tub on the back of it that rolls down and will dump directly in Twenty thousand liter capacity for that but we can also put in here grass hay and straw weighs 14.8 tons 120 horsepower is required to run this it is a stationary baler therefore you're not having to pull it around thank goodness it is pretty heavy uh, and it will make 125 centimeter round bells also wrap those round bells as well wrapper design we have standard or with bell on end turner this is going to be on the front of the pieces of equipment so instead of normal with the uh, production going from the front of the baler to the back this goes from the back to the front very cool there we also have silage additive tank there and our five foil colors and the ninth and final piece of equipment is the vario master v140 as far as i can tell the only difference between this and the previous piece of equipment is that this will also do 150 centimeter round bells and it'll wrap those round bells as well wrapper design is going to be identical on the very front we could do the bell on end turner and we have that silage additive tank along with the foil colors power requirements the same at 120 horsepower the capacity option is exactly the same at 20,000 liters and of course it will also do 125 centimeter round bells if you would like but we can also do those 150s with this too this is very cool but there is a bit of a price difference between the two almost twenty thousand dollars there pricing for everything is a little bit high if you're going to compare it to some of the other things however this stuff is very very nice and of course with really nice pieces of equipment like this it's going to be a lot more fun if you can share your experience with other people and with your friends and that's where our sponsor for today's video comes in g portal they host premium game servers for farming simulator 22 no matter what platform you play on even on consoles that's true you play on xbox or playstation or even pc and of course with playstation and xbox being cross-play compatible with each other well 
everyone could play together. I've been working with G Portal as a partner for almost two years now, and they've been hosting the channel member server and my public server ever since. For Farming Simulator 22, they've got a few pre-done configurations, but you can always configure your own to be perfect for you and your friends. This includes slots for four up to 16 players at once on the same game. And since mods are a lot of fun with Farm Sim, you definitely want to go with that 25 gigabytes of extra mod space too. And one of the nice things is as well as you could do a three day duration, 30 day, 90 day, 180 days, or even a full 365 days year. You can go with any of these options and it can renew automatically or you can cancel anytime. One other great thing is they've got many different locations, nine different locations around the world, including a couple in the United States feature Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, Dallas, and New York. So if you're here in the United States like I am, you just simply choose the location that's closest to you and you're good to go. And if you're in the rest of the world, for example, Sydney, Australia, we've got Taipei, China. We also have Tokyo, Japan, which appears to be sold out, Frankfurt in Germany, and also London, England. Once you've got everything that you need, click continue and you're just about done. If you'd like to get a closer look, check out my video on how to get private game servers for yourself for more information titled how to get private game servers for FS22 on consoles. And if you're interested in grabbing a Farm Sim 22 server for you and your friends, you can use the link at the top of the description and get 10% off all G Portal game servers, even if it's not Farm Sim 22. They've got servers for other popular games as well, including Minecraft, Ark, ETS2, ATS, a set of course, a competition, and of course, Farm Sim 13 through 22. Again, huge thank you to G Portal Premium Game Servers for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into the build and show what these awesome machines can do. Since we've got some new stuff being added to this DLC with new Baylor types, Let's start with those. Let's start with the LT Master F-115 Stationary Bailer and the Varia Master V-140 Stationary Bailer. And you may um, be, uh, <laughs> be excused for saying, yo, aren't those kind of the same thing? And they're uh, very, very similar. We're gonna be using Kubota equipment today. I got two Illmates that are gonna help us show off the differences between these two pieces. So I've gone for no bail assist, with the first one. This is the LT Master. This only does 125 centimeter round bells. We cannot change that. Up at the top, we've got a couple different options here. We can fully unfold the baler or we can unfold the draw bar. We can extend that rather. What that's gonna do is just gonna boop it out to the side. From here, we can uh, unfold or open side panel. However, that stuff's done actually from here, from the side. Here we go. Unfold, open, side panel. Ah! And it opens the side panels. Next, unfold or prepare baler. So it unfolds the back, which is the tub, I guess you would say. Opens that up, extends that, brings that down, brings that, and then drops there, just like so. And now we're ready to go. And we've got a brand new icon up at the top left hand corner which is super super cool so what we're gonna do is we can turn it on from there and now it's ready to go it is rocking and rolling good to go so let's jump in our kubota m7 here i've got a rudolph trailer full of chaff and we're just gonna back this up to the tub and we are going to make ourselves some chaff round bales which will then in change turn in to bills for us silage bills at that so this dumps in through there and then the animations will start up to the top and we are making ourselves some chaff bells check that out uh, up to i think it's 3500 liters there we go and now we've got more animations that start to happen. So it's gonna take that chaff bell, it's gonna bring it forward, and it is going to start wrapping there. Now, it's also going to start making another chaff bell for us. So now that we've got this, it's going to pop it out and roll it down. It's gonna jump back in and grab the next bell. This is super cool and very, very handy for you guys that Maybe you want to do some automated bell wrapping. You could do that. We could check down here and see we got 3,500 liters of chaff. It is 0% fermented and it tells us how much it weighs. Now, 
I don't know if that's going to drop it. It is not. So I'm going to have to enable my power tools mod and move this bale out of the way. And then it's just going to keep making more. It's just going to keep making more, man. How cool is that? I do need to turn off my super strength mod here. How do I do that? There we go. And now that I'm done, let's say that I'm done there, I'm just going to turn off the baler. And it's going to do that. I don't need to enable flight mode. We'll move that out of the way. And we're good to go. Cool. So that's the LT uh, Master. Now let's go over here to the Vorio Master. It's a little bit different, but pretty much identical. So let's turn on our tractor and what are we gonna do here? We can unfold it the same way, but what we are gonna do is just unfold fully. What this is gonna do is it's going to do every single animation for you. So what Giants have actually done here is they've added the ability to do all of these animations either at once or you can simply do them all individually. And now we've got everything done, ready to go. And I've also included the bell flipper on this one. And since we're doing chaff, we'll go ahead and continue along with that. We will back it up right about there. Good to go. And then let's go over here and turn on the baler. Just like that. Whatever here to our tractor. We'll go ahead and dump that. And it's going to make us some more chaff bales there you go and again whenever you're done just go ahead and turn the baler off and it will quit working but as you can see at the top left hand corner we have that brand new animation absolutely beautiful i don't know who is in charge of that animation and who this idea was but they're a genius that was great it's so good and then now we've got our chaff bell being wrapped up right here and ready to go now I have heard that I think a modder or two are gonna be working on some purchasable versions of these bales unwrapped. So that is pretty cool. And there you go, it's just gonna drop it right there again. I'm going to enable my uh, uh, strong hand there just so I can move that out of the way. And it's going to wrap again. Now, if I wanna jump in here and change my bale size, I can do that. So I have just changed my bale size up to 150s now and i believe for the next bale that comes through it's going to make that and you will want to move these bales out of the way one thing that might be kind of cool is if you could jump in and take the bale and pallet storage that was just added and maybe put that like right where it's happening and it'll just drop them in there and store them up for you that might be kind of cool let's see what we get here up to 3,500, over 3,500, and good to go. So let's go ahead and turn off the baler. We don't need to make any more. Actually, we need to finish the bale here. Let's see, let's go ahead and finish that bale. There we go, 5,500 liters, and we will turn off the bale wrapper. We'll bring our round bale over there, and you can see this one much, much larger. Very cool. So those are your stationary balers. There's really not much more to them. I will tell you that down through here, you can see there are switches being moved and all kinds of stuff. It is completely automated. So it's going to move all of these switches for you. All the gauges are going to be working and things like that. I also want to thank Derpledactyl James, Mr. Derp, uh, for pointing that out. I would have missed that without him. So Shouty outy to him. Now, I also want you to guys to remember, we can make TMR bales with these. We can make cut sugar beet bales with these and chaff as we showed off. Of course, grass, hay, and straw. TMR, you just make TMR in a feed mixer and then put it in here and it'll bale it up for you. It's just a great way to store it if you're not putting it in silos or anything like that. The cut sugar beet bales, I thought that these were going to be fermenting. However, they have not been fermenting for me and turning into silage. They are literally just cut sugar beets. You can take them to the uh, BGA and sell them there for bulk cut sugar beets, I guess. So just a heads up there. And these two balers right here, these are the only two that will make those. However, I will say the Q profile will wrap those bales, which is interesting. Next, let's take a look at the G1 125 Combi round baler and wrapper, the F 
125 rather. This is going to make 125 centimeter round bells and it will wrap them as well. So we've got turn on automatic drop turned on. Uh, let's go ahead and unfold the baler. And I do have the bell flipper on the back as well, which is going to be very handy. Let's turn on the baler. Let's drop down the pickup. I am not doing any type of wild and crazy fast farming action here, even though I would love to. And we're just simply picking up grass. Nothing wild and crazy. And there we go. We do need to stop because it is not going to keep picking up grass as we do. And it has given us the bing to say, hey, you can go ahead and keep going. So we will keep going until we fill it up again, which is going to be right there. Now the bell flipper takes the bell, pops it, flips it, does good. We're still binging. And then wait for it. And then bing and we're back in action baby and really at the end of the day that's uh that's kind of it for the uh the f1 uh f125 combi round baler next is just the regular variant of that baler the g1 f125 just round baler in general uh, it will make 125 centimeter round bells we'll jump in here we will turn on automatic drop and from there it's really just up and down now one of the cool things is almost every piece of equipment with this dlc has an adjustable bar at the front so you can adjust this for many different types of tractors heights things like that so that's really really cool might be a big selling point as well if you've got something that maybe is just a little bit different um well you may be able to handle it perfectly fine with this so uh picking up our round bales right through here and there is our first bale we'll drop it off and let's make some more and also just want to remind you guys that the new stationary balers again are the only balers that can make those new bell types for example this baler will only do hay grass and straw and so will that wrapper as well only grass hay and straw next is something super super cool this is the g4010 q profi wrapper this is a standalone piece of equipment so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna jump in the tractor and detach it i'm just simply gonna pull it away no tractor there's nothing there now i'm gonna turn off my super strength real quick we'll come over here and unfold the wrapper <laughs> yeah man uh we want to turn on automatic bell drop and we're good to go you can hear it's got a little engine on there as well it's just a standalone. Now, I'm going to be using uh, uh, my heavy lift mod to show you guys how all of this works. So we've got grass, hay, straw, chaff, cut sugar beets, and TMR. I've got all of them here. Some of them work. One of these won't. I wonder which one it is. So let's start off over here with a grass bell. Just 125 centimeters. Now, this will also do 150s as well. So that's very important to know. And I mean, look at this. It's just a, it's just wrapping a bale, just sitting there all by itself, not plugged into anything. Doesn't take fuel. It's, it just is what it is. It's so now. We've got we got this bale here. It is a fermenting grass bale. How cool is that? Next up, let's grab a hay bale. Is this going to work? No, because you can't wrap hay bales. So let's get that out of there. How about a straw bell? Can we wrap the straw bell? Nope, cannot wrap the straw bell. So let's yeet that out of there. And you can see, <laughs> did that just turn off? It just turned off. Let's see if we can make it turn back on. Here is a chaff bale. Let's put it there. And it just turned itself back on. Here's the chaff bell. So this is one of the unwrapped chaff bells that we were using for the balers. When I showed you guys the stationary balers, it's just gonna sit here and and wrap the chaff bell for us and puts it out. So yes, will we get a wrapped chaff bell? That's gonna turn into silage, and so is that. Now let's come over here. We've got this, which is a sugar beet cut. Now. It's going to wrap this cut sugar beet bell for us. Uh, why it's wrapping it, I actually can't tell you. If you're a real farmer and you do this in real life, hey man, uh, let me know down in the comment section below because I'm not sure why you would want to do that. But 
If I grab a hold of this, we can see we've got a sugar beet cut wrapped bell. Not silage bell, but wrapped bell. Um, I have let these sit for a year in game and they have not fermented. Plus, it doesn't even say anything about fermenting down to the bottom where the grass and the chaff bell do. Now, lastly, we have our TMR bell right here. Boop, place it down and it's gonna wrap this TMR bell for us as well. I would definitely recommend using different colors if you're gonna be doing cut sugar beets or maybe TMR. TMR bells are great because you can just take a TMR bell and throw it to your cattle and then bam, they have it. <laughs> so uh, that's definitely gonna be awesome. But again, we got our TMR bell here and well, there's really not much to it. It's just a wrap TMR bell. If I wanna cut this open again, I could just simply come over and cut those open. But these, I cannot cut open. So there you go. Next, we have our G5020 wrapper. It's just a regular wrapper, nothing wild and crazy about it. We can't operate anything from the side. It just is what it is. So let's jump in our kabuta right here. If I can continue to quit throwing it, <laughs> let's turn it on. We will unfold the bell wrapper as it goes. We do have the turner on here too. And then it drops down the front and opens up, ready to go. So we're just gonna start with a grass bell. Nice, easy, very, very simple, nothing wild crazy. Let's go ahead and turn on automatic drop as well. That way we could do that. And we are simply wrapping a grass bell and we will ferment that and turn it into silage for ourselves. Since we've got automatic bell wrap turned on and automatic bell drop turned on, it just drops it right there, good to go. Now I've got a TMR bell here. I wanted to see if this would wrap it, and it does. So it will wrap the TMR bell. And of course we gotta find, try the cut sugar beet, and yeah, it wraps it perfectly fine. Now here again is one of the pieces of equipment that I have looked forward to the most. This is the uh, G1015 wrapper. This will hook on the front loaders, it will also hook up to three point and it will hook up to uh, your uh, standard uh, telehandler. So with this, let's go and turn on automatic drop. Let's unfold the bell wrapper itself and let's come over here and let's grab ourselves a grass bell. You can see right through there, it's not picking it up, bam. But when we get it low enough, it will. One of the nice things is here, if you've got that roller, you can lower it down just enough and just drive around with it lowered down it's kind of helpful on a front loader maybe not so much but on something else super super helpful drop it down and it drops it's good to go and you can also wrap up other stuff with it too like your tmr and your cut sugar beet bam just like so how epic is this little thing and just to showcase its use on a front three point boom there you go. You raise it up, take the bell, and quite literally wrap it while you take the bell to the side of the field. And it actually doesn't matter where you are, you can unload the bell however. So here we're raised and supposed to lowered, and it's just gonna open and drop the bell. Now that we've done that, we can simply take this, drop it down, and go pick up the next bale and bring it back and drop it off. You pretty much do two things at, uh, at one time. There we go. We've grabbed our bale. Let's raise it up. And we'll bring it back over here and we're wrapping in the process. It is just a super, super cool piece of kit. Super cool machine. A very neat tool to have for your arsenal and doing silage. It's just... It's just so cool, man. Next to last is going to be the Bell Handler BTGQU. This can be used with a telehandler, a front loader, or a three point. We've got a front loader here, and I got a couple different bell sizes set up because I want to show you guys. Uh, yeah, you really need to pay attention when it says only 180 centimeter square bell. So we've got 180 centimeter square bell right here. We'll line it up perfectly, bring it in just like so, and then we'll squeeze it. It knows when it's been uh, squeezed it too tight. And then we could carry this bell safely to, uh, to transport it. There we go. Now I've got a 220 and a 240 here as well. The straw bell is the 220 and we'll take this in. It will line it up. However, as you can see, uh, it's really just 
not going to fit. It's just not going to fit. You might be able to get it in like a certain way. I don't, you know, actually, I'm looking at this. Uh, let's see. Can I toggle super strength enabled? You might be able to flip this up to hallways and grab it. Actually, I'm not, uh, I'm not quite sure if this will work or not. I, of course, I dropped it. <laughs> uh, we'll take it right there. Squeeze it. I mean, it didn't not work. So, uh, yeah, there you go. But it's really meant for 180 centimeter uh, square bells. One of the cool things is it actually knows, like, when it's too much and it just stops squeezing. This is something I don't know if I've ever seen in a piece of equipment before. This is very unique. And I dare say that this piece of equipment itself is one of a kind. Like, it won't squeeze any more than that. It knows that it's got the bail. And, and it won't drop it. That's different. Very different. And the very last piece that I'm going to show you is the bail handler RBG. Not RGB. Nope, it's just B. It's blue. It's the gear valve. <laughs> we got it hooked up to our uh, Kubota again here. This will only do front loader and telehandler. So heads up there. Now, we've got it right here. Let's grab a hold and let's hook up to a round bell to do 180 or uh, 125s and 150s. It doesn't say anything about being able to do 180s. This is a 125 right here. And as you saw, it grabbed just enough and then it didn't grab on anymore. So it didn't squeeze it too tight. It didn't do any of that. And it definitely could. I mean, it could go all the way in, but it physically didn't. It did not allow me to squeeze this bell any harder than I had to. That is such a cool addition to this DLC. Such a cool piece of equipment. Such a neat and exciting and just totally different thing than we have seen. This DLC is hiding lots of secrets and lots of little things that if you didn't make it to this point in the video, I'm not sure you would know. That's a Kubota. There's nothing comparable over here. So definitely, definitely do not sleep on this DLC. And that's it. That is everything that you need to know about the Gerval Pack for Farming Simulator 22. If you would like to pick up the DLC on PC, if you want to buy the year one season pass, or maybe you want to buy Farm Sim 22 for the first time, check the description for links to all of those. And make sure you use the code DJ Goham when you do. That does go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. And again, thank you to G Portal Premium Game Servers for sponsoring today's video. If you've got any questions at all about the new Gerval Pack, Farming Simulator 22 or anything else, make sure to post those in the comment section below and check the description for helpful links to other things you may be interested in as well. You can also find playlists for new mods and Farm Sim News link there. That way, you can stay up to date with everything new and upcoming going on in the world of Farming Simulator. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss future DLC information or daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.